and we go into Shavasana. We will begin. All right. Let's move to a chair. Not there already. Ah. And find a gentle, tall spine. So again, Anjali Mudra, that's the heart chakra. So uh, it's right around where we, it's obvious, you know, it uh, makes sense. It's right around that heart area. And um, so we're going to just do some poses today to really open that up, get the energy flowing in that area. So we're going to begin with Anjali Mudra. We're going to bring our palms together, get a nice tall spine, and then lift the elbows up out to the side. Good. And then just lay your thumbs onto your heart. We'll begin with just bringing our awareness there to this area, this heart chakra. And float your eyes closed. Good. And bring a little gentle smile on your face. And just arrive. Just arrive in this space. And just notice where you are today. How you're feeling today. Yeah. Good. And then just gently pressing into your palms. Feel that energy ignite there a little bit. Let's take a couple breaths here, breathing in through the nose. Feel the heart rise and then breathe out through the nose or through the mouth. Just let the air out naturally. Let's do a couple breaths just like that. Starting to settle in to our space. Bringing gratitude to your heart. Letting your heart grow with gratitude and joy. And one more breath here, just a nice big breath. And as you exhale, just relax your shoulders, your body. Relax your elbows down. Relax your hands onto your lap with the palms up. Just relax the shoulders, keep the eyes closed. Now we're gonna just tap into big, deep yogic breath. So as you breathe in, feel your belly rise and then your heart rise. And as you breathe out, feel the heart relax and the belly draw back. And then again, big breath. This is through in and out of your nose. Inhale, belly rise, heart rise, and even the collarbones lift. And as you exhale, relax the collarbones, relax the heart, relax the belly back. So do about three breaths just like that. Nice and relaxed. Belly rises, heart rises, collarbone lifts. Taking in a full breath. And then reverse that, relax the collarbone, heart, and belly back. And two more at your own pace. The breath is relaxed, you're not struggling at all. Just taking in as deep of a breath as you can and, re and re exhaling, full exhaling fully. Feeling that heart expand with each ex inhale. And feel it just relax with each exhale. And the next time that you exhale, just simply relax the breath, relax the body. Yes, and just think of it. Just a little bit of a gentle observation of what you want to change. And that's all that it takes for any change. It's just a gentle observation of what you want to change in your life. That's where it begins. That's where the change begins. Yeah, maybe today there's nothing. All right. Then when you're feeling ready, complete, just gently start to flutter the eyes open. So yeah, opening up our, our best stuff is in this brain, not in this brain, right? When our hearts are open to the world, open to possibilities, 
that's where we're happiest. That's where we're most content and filled with joy. Mm -hmm. Let's open that up a little bit. All right. And so either hands can remain up on your lap or you can bring them down on your lap. We're going to do some head rolls. Always start with that. Take a breath in, find your gentle, tall spine. And as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest, stretch your shoulders back and begin to roll the head over to one side and up and exhale to the other side and forward. You can soften your eyes here or close them again and just do some slow circles. direction. And the next time your head comes forward, pause. And then slowly other direction. Yeah. Let's reverse. Notice today. You always notice that each day you feel a little different. Sometimes you feel a lot different. Sometimes you feel better. Sometimes you feel if, yeah, our body is incredibly complex. When we have a day that we feel good, that is a blessing. Yeah. And the next time the head comes forward, pause. Good. And then you can just press into your feet and slowly lift the body back up. Good. And getting into our shoulders. So this heart chakra is the energy areas are our neck, shoulders, our, our ribs, our thymus glands. So we'll do a little, relax the arms down. Let's do some shoulder rolls, just nice and easy, inhaling up and back, exhaling down and forward. In and out of the nose, roll the shoulders, be gentle with yourself. This is not a competition or, yeah, we're just oh, stretching or opening and then reverse, opposite direction. Good. And relax the shoulders, good. And let's bring our hands to our rib cage and just uh, do a little massage of our side ribs as far up as you can and down. Good, and relax. And then start to tap your sternum. Your thymus gland lies below your sternum here. It's very important for our immune system. And you can go out to the sides, the front of your shoulders, yep, even into the area where your thyroid and parathyroid is. Yeah, whether you have it still or not. Yes. And waking up that thymus gland and the heart. And relax, relax the arms down. On an inhale breath, just reach your arms back and lift your chin. And as you exhale, cross your arms in front of your chest and drop your head, give yourself a hug. And inhale, open up, blossom open, lift the heart. And exhale, curl in, maybe the opposite arm on top and give yourself a hug here. And then relax the hug. Yeah, whenever you're feeling down or low or whatever, just give yourself a hug. <laughs> yeah, and typically we hug with our hearts, not necessarily with our arms, um, but I mean, physically we hug with our, but the, the, the hug really, the energetic hug is coming from the heart. Yeah, so scooting forward in your chair just a little bit. Have some space behind you. We're gonna bring our hands onto our thighs with our elbows out, little cat cow here. So on an inhale breath, lift the heart, lift the chin. And on an exhale breath, drop the head and round the back. So just make this feel amazing. Yeah, and at your own pace, inhaling as you lift up, keep the back of the neck long. Exhale as you curl in. Yeah, good, a couple more. Inhale as you go up. Exhale, curl in. Next time you come forward, pause, relax the head. Just roll the head or shake the head gently side to side. Just again, reminding that neck to relax. 
and then bring the head back to stillness. Press into your feet and slowly lift the head back up. And now bring your hands forward, a little cobra pose here. So we're gonna take a breath in, nice tall spine. As you exhale, slide your belly forward, your belly button, yeah. And then your rib cage, and then your heart. And then just come down about halfway, just bowing down. And then if you're pretty far down, you're gonna lift up a little bit and bring your elbows onto your thighs. Look forward here if you need to see. And then the fingers are just gently pointing forward. Let's stretch the fingers wide and then bring them back together. And stretch the fingers wide and bring them back together. Yeah. And now take a breath in. As you exhale, imagine your heart just melting towards the floor, Good. just as far as it lands. And then on an inhale breath, draw the top of your head gently forward and then lift your chin. Oh, so the heart is just falling towards the floor. We'll back bend here in Cobra Pose. We're opening up our heart in this pose. And breathing. Yeah. So the body parts are, yes, this heart and shoulders and thymus gland. And energetically, this brings out our compassion and our love and our healing and our hope. And we have our heart open. And now as you exhale, relax the head down. Good. And when it's clogged up, when the wheel's not turning, it's a tendency for fear and hate. Yes. And so we want to just completely let that dissipate. Good. And now we're going to slide our right hand back and our left hand back. Good. And press into your palms to slowly bring your body back up. Good. Relax your arms down alongside your body. Turn your palms out. On an inhale breath, press into your feet and reach your arms out and up. Stretch up to where it's comfortable for you. Stretch, stretch, stretch and feel the waist lift up off the hips a little bit. It should feel really nice after that cobra. And then exhale, relax the shoulders and then allow the arms to just float down. Yeah, always reminding ourselves to relax these shoulders. We're not even aware when our shoulders are cranked up in cold weather, especially. Yeah, we tend to be a little stiffer. So always reminding ourselves to relax the shoulders, good. All right, opening the shoulders up a little bit more, we're gonna take another breath in. And as we exhale again, glide your belly forward. We wanna keep a straight spine, not round the spine. And then then tip forward about halfway. And again, we're gonna bring our elbows onto our legs. We're gonna move into thread the needle pose. So we're gonna relax that right arm, just let it hang down alongside that right leg. Good. And then we're gonna gently press into the left elbow as we start to float the right arm out to the side. You can even watch that hand rise up and just take that right arm as high as is comfortable on your body. Yeah, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, watch that arm float back down. And now we're gonna do that again. On an inhale breath, press into your feet and that left elbow to just let the right arm float up and out to the side and up. Take a nice breath in when you get to your pinnacle there. And then as you exhale now, as the arm starts to float down, you're gonna bend the right elbow. You're gonna take the right arm, the hand, and draw it behind the left upper arm. And then you're gonna relax your body down and just stretch that left arm out to the left wall. Yeah, so we're sort of threading the needle. The right hand is the, I guess, the thread going through the back of the left forearm. And then just relax your head, let your head just be in a comfortable position. Taking over to the left, taking over towards that right palm with up, turning to the left and breathe here. A big breath. Maybe each time you exhale, you can scooch that 
right hand a little further to the left. Just find what feels comfortable here. Time you exhale, ask yourself, what am I gripping? Can I relax my shoulders? Can I relax my body? Can I relax my head? So a little bit of an inversion as well. Good. Now we're gonna untie ourselves. So we're gonna press down. As you inhale, press down into your feet and slowly start to lift your body up. That right arm will start to slide out from behind the left. Bring your right palm to your leg, your left palm to your leg, and slowly bring yourself back up. Good. Ah, all right. Relax well, the arms down and just gently roll the shoulders out. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do that same thing on the other side. All right. So taking a breath in, keeping the spine long. Exhale, draw the belly forward, and then just Hinge forward at your hips about halfway. Good. And let's bring our elbows again onto our thighs. Good. And relax the fingers. Relax the left arm now down alongside the left lower leg. Good. And again, you're just gently gonna press into your right elbow, right, right forearm, as the left arm starts to float out to the side and up. You may not go, just really, um, Gauge to where you're feeling comfortable here. Now taking it too far. Once you get to your edge, you breathe. Keep breathing. Good. And then as you exhale, float that arm down. And that left arm, let it float down. Good. And then we're going to do that again. On an inhale breath, float the left arm out to the side. Float it up. You can watch that arm go up. Maybe it goes up a little higher, maybe not. Yeah. If you want to find a stretch here that feels good, that's a little bit of a challenge, but not uncomfortable, so that you can still breathe. And now we're going to thread our needles. So as you exhale, let that left arm float down about halfway down. You're going to bend the left elbow, and with palm up, you're going to slide it behind the right upper arm. And then you're going to relax your left shoulder down and stretch those left fingertips out to the right side wall as far as is comfortable. Trying to just get a nice stretch on that left shoulder blade. Good. And again, let the head just relax and find your breath. And maybe you stretch a little bit more. Maybe you're comfortable where you are. And breathe. Two and one. And then we'll make our way out. So pressing into your feet, pressing into that right forearm as you start to lift the body up. That left arm starts to come out. And just bring that left palm onto your thigh and your right palm onto your thigh. Press into your palms to slowly float your body back up. Good. And relax the shoulders. And it might feel nice now to glide your hands back like an airplane. Grab on to the seat of the back somewhere on your chair behind you. And then just relax your shoulders and stretch them back. Feel that heart open, lift the chin and breathe. Two and one. And then keeping the, uh, keep, you keep holding on to your chair and now, as you exhale, just allow the head, that heavy head, to just drop forward. And relax the weight of your body forward, You're holding yourself with your hands behind you there. And breathe. Feel that nice stretch along the whole back of your neck, shoulders, spine. Yeah. And then press into your feet and slowly bring the head back up. Good, and release that out, and roll it out. Nice, all right. I'm gonna do a couple more poses here. We're gonna come into a little twist. Yeah, so on an inhale breath, bring your arms forward and reach them up. Yeah, it might feel nice to interlace your hands and flip your palms up, and then stretch your hands, your palms up towards the sky. 
and pressing down into your feet a little bit so that stretch along the whole side ribs of your body yeah and just take this to where it's comfortable this kind of stretches our whole trunk of our body our back our sides our front yeah and then exhale relax you're gonna gently unlace your hands bring your palms to face each other take a breath in Tuck your belly, the low belly back, and as you exhale, just turn over to the right. Feeling the twisting coming from more your waist and your hips. And then relax your arms down, just let them gently float through space. And bring that left hand to the outside of the right thigh, the right hand, either the palm on the back of the chair, that's a nice uh, base. Right, so lay that right palm onto the seat of your chair. Keep a gentle, tall spine, and then just gently look over that right shoulder. Such a beautiful twist that a pose for us. It's for our internal organs, opening up the heart to stretching the neck, in a gentle rotation to the spine. Breathe and smile. And then as you exhale, relax slowly, very slowly. Bring your body back forward. Nice. Yeah, having that palm on the back of your chair when you're twisted helps you to keep the spine nice and tall. So let's go to the other side. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Good, stretch up tall. As you exhale, relax the shoulders back and down. And then pressing into your feet gently, just gently twist over to the left. And then relax your arms down. Now the right hand's on the outside of the left thigh. The left palm is resting on the back of the seat of your chair. And when you push down into that left palm, the spine gets a little bit taller. And then gently look over that left shoulder and breathe nice long slow breaths here smile on the face you can close your eyes and just enjoy this stretch with deep breath breathing into that belly heart Good. and then as you exhale relax the body slowly turn the body back forward Good. All right, and just gently move the body and just gently shake anything that, any tension that might have built up in the body. We're gonna practice our warrior one seated. So it's a little, little awkward, but um, really nice to do. We haven't done this in a little while. So we're gonna start by taking your um, left leg. You're gonna slide your left toes back and see if you can tuck your foot underneath your chair and bring your knee towards the floor. And if that's not working for you, you can just slide that left foot back a little bit from the right. Yeah, or just be on the ball of your foot or on the tippy toe of your foot, or maybe even the top of your shoe can come towards the floor. Good, wherever you land, good. And then we're gonna slowly lift our arms up, coming into our seated warrior one pose. On an inhale breath, gently feel your heart lift and even look up slightly. Take a nice big breath in, exhale it out, relax your shoulders back and down. Take the struggle out of the pose. If you're finding you're struggling, find a modification so that you can breathe deep. One more breath here. And as you exhale, as the arms stop, start to drop down, start to slide that left foot back, forward, and next to the right. Good. Yeah, that's just playing around a little bit with the warrior poses in our chair. So we're going to do warrior two pose. We're going to step our right leg out to the side. Square your shoulders to the front of the room. Take your left arm and reach it out to the side and your right arm in line with the left. Good. And turn and look over that left middle finger, right little middle fingernail. You're gently pressing into your feet. Spine is nice and tall. And you're breathing, finding warrior two on this side. 
So you are using your legs as you press into your feet, you feel your legs engaged in this pose. Good. And then as you exhale, allow the arms to float down. Good. Bring your gaze back forward. Bring your right palm up and then lean over to the right slightly, come for side angle pose and lay your forearm onto your thigh or your hands onto your thigh, either up high or a little bit further down, wherever it's comfortable. Turn your left palm out, press into those feet. As you inhale, reach the arm up towards the sky. Good. And take a breath in, and as you exhale, stretch up and just drop over to the right slightly. Really stretching those left fingertips up to the upper right corner of the room or the ceiling, and feel that breath, right? Feel the breath on that whole left side as you breathe in. It's almost like you're breathing into that left lung fully. Good. Belly's tucked back. If this is bothering your low back, you're going to slide up a little bit and really tuck that low belly in. Good. And then inhale, slowly come back up and exhale, float out of the pose, remembering to soften the shoulder as the arm comes down. Good. And relax. And we're going to toe heel, toe heel. I would say a large part of the time when we're having low back pain is we're probably doing a lot and we're not engaging this core. When we draw that area below the navel in, wherever you're doing will stabilize that low back. So just try to keep that in mind. All right, other side. So now we're gonna take those that left toe, slide it back. Maybe you're on the ball of your foot, maybe the tippy toe. Maybe you can slide it further back, sort of the top of the foot is parallel to the floor. Yeah, so just find that warrior one leg on this side. When you're ready, inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Good, nice. And then feel the heart lift up and look up to your ceiling and breathe. Heart always lifting. Yeah, spending most of our day in that heart brain, not in the head brain. Never go wrong when we're making decisions from the heart. And then as we exhale, allow the arms to float forward. Good, as you slide that foot back next to the left. Good. And let's take to warrior two on the other side. So stepping out with your left leg. Now, tendency is to follow the leg. Right, so we wanna square our upper body forward as much as possible. So if you're doing that and this leg is caving in, you might wanna bring this leg in a little bit. We want the knee right above the heel, not knee caved in. Yeah, good, shoulders square to the front. Take your right arm back and take your left arm next up in line with the right. Good, we're pressing into our toes. And you're turning your head and looking over that front middle left fingernail now, little drishti gaze. Find a smile, find your breath. Again, in gratitude that you brought yourself to class today to take care of your heart. And that way we can take care of the world and the people around us as well as ourselves. One more breath here. Try to relax the shoulders on each exhale breath. And then as you exhale, relax the arms down, relax the shoulders. We're going to turn the gaze forward. We're going to bring our left palm up and then lean to the left slightly, not forward, but keep the shoulder, that right shoulder back as you lean over. And then either up higher, right, or take it to where you want to take it. Good. Relax the left right arm down, turn the right palm out. Inhale, reach that right arm up. You're pressing into your legs. That also takes the pressure off your body, your upper body. Take a breath in, stretch up tall. As you exhale, just melt over to the left and breathe. So keep that right shoulder back. Don't let it collapse forward. If it's collapsing forward, just come up a little bit. 
Keep that right shoulder in line about with the ear and breathe. So we're just, it's all about stretching long, not how far over we can get. Yeah. Breathe. Yeah, we don't want to get our ego involved in any of our yoga work, but it's just always there, our ego. I could do this, I could go farther, which is good. We need that a little bit, but sometimes we take it to the nth degree. And then inhale, slowly come back up. And exhale, allow that arm to just float down. Oh, good. Right. Hands on thighs, toe heel, that left leg back in line with the right. Good. Wiggle out, shake it out, just bob your legs out and back. Yeah, that might feel good to just loosen up those hips. And we'll make our way to standing if you'd like. Feel free to remain in your chair if that's what you're feeling today. It's the beauty of the chair. It's the amazing prop our chair. Slide your heels back. Lean that belly forward. Press into your toes. And make your way up to a comfortable stand. Good. Find yourself behind your chair. Then you can either set it off to the side if you'd like. Uh, I, you don't need it at the moment, but you can always, it's nice always to have it there. So let's just shake it off. Yeah, we've been sitting for a little while, right? So you stand up and it's like, ooh, I'm stiff. So just shake off the stiffness. That also helps. We were just having a conversation about arthritis and the body wants to move. And even though the, and the joints tend to get stiff, right? So any little movements you can do on a daily basis, on a regular basis, is really good for the joints. Roll the shoulders, shake, walk the hands, wiggle the feet. Good. And relax. Then coming to wide stance. Some of these poses I like to do always. Little soft bends in the knees. Good. Coming side to side here. Nice and gentle. Inhaling and whew, exhaling. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Ah. Huh. Huh. And come back to center. Now we're going to exhale the opposite direction. So, huh. Huh. that one I always have to think about. And then once I think about it and start, it's like, wait, am I doing this the opposite way? Don't get too caught up in it. Just breathe. Huh. Huh. That's just a little exercise for the brain. And slowly come back and come back forward all right so again it's nice for you to have your chair in front of you maybe scoot it up a little bit we're going to come into standing warrior poses now yeah so we're going to start with our right leg your right leg and you're going to take it back step back good have a little bit of width between your uh feet and your legs good and then just soften this knee this left knee Yes, good. Now, but you don't want the left knee, if you look down, you don't want the knee to go, you want to at least see your, the toe of your shoe. So either don't bend it as far or come a little bit more forward with that front, front leg. And finding your warrior one pose, good. You can always be holding onto your chair, the back of your chair there, good. And you can square the hips to the front of the room, good. If it's available to you, reach both arms up. You can always hold on with one hand and just reach one arm up. And if you can do both, that's fine. Good. And again, on an inhale breath, feel the heart lift up and the chin float up slightly. All of these, we're just keep, keeping that um, heart opening in all these poses, just reminding the heart to remain open. And one, good. And now on an exhale breath, float the arms down, the one or both arms down, good. Staying here, we're gonna interlace our hands behind our hips, good. We're just gonna come into a little humble warrior one, good. So take your, a breath in, stretch your shoulders back, feel that heart open. And on an exhale breath, start to press into that back foot, and press into your toes and just hinge forward, maybe halfway. Be mindful that you don't 
conk your head if you have the uh, back of your chair there. Yeah, don't go as far down. Yeah, just coming into a little bit of a humble warrior. And maybe you can just drop your head down if that's available to you. Maybe you can slightly lift your arms up towards the sky. Stretch those shoulders only if it feels good. Really using your feet, pressing into those toes. Yeah. And on exhale, breath. Relax your arms back onto your back. Press into your feet, stretch your hands back and towards the floor as your body slowly comes back up. Good. And then release your arms. Good. Now, if you have the back of your chair there, you can hold on to the back of your chair. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna come up onto the ball of that right foot, if that's available to you. Yeah. All right, we're gonna blossom into warrior two here. So on an inhale breath, we're gonna reach your arms up and you can hold on to the chair with that left hand. Take a breath in, oh, you're here, here. And on an exhale now, drop that heel again, that back heel and turn to the right and find your warrior two standing pose here. Now, you may wanna scoot your uh, legs around a little bit. Typically the front heel is in line with about the middle of the back foot. So just get yourself into your warrior two pose here. Good. And now we're gonna flip our palms up. And you can either have that front knee bent or you can straighten it a little bit, but be comfortable here. So flipping the palms up, feeling those shoulders rotate back slightly. Good. And then press into your toes as you straighten that front knee, reach the arms out and up towards the sky. Turn the palms down, exhale back to your warrior two. Soften that front knee, that left knee. And then inhale, slowly reach out and up. So just make this a challenging, but relax in it. Just make this a little dance. Just drawing the arms up and back down. And let's just do one more big breath. And the next time that you land in your warrior two, Good, take a breath in and exhale. Just relax the arms down. Good, press down into their toes and straighten this front knee. Good, and then we're just going to rotate those left toes forward. So both toes are forward now and then heel toe, heel toe. You can be hanging onto your chair here or just step yourself back to standing pose, mountain pose and turn forward, yeah. Nice little dance there, yeah. So we're just gonna do that same thing on the other side. So there's a lot to think about, there's a lot of things going on, but just be relaxed in the whole thing. And if you wanna just stand ever, if you wanna just stand and breathe, or stand in or your legs, not bending the knee, whatever serves your body. These are merely suggestions, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the other side. So we're gonna step the left foot back now to soften the right knee into your warrior one pose. Again, you can widen the legs. Sometimes that makes you a little more of a base so you feel more grounded. Good, yeah. And your chair, again, is right in front of you there. You can hold on to the back of your chair. And then we're gonna either lift one arm up or both arms up, yeah. And once you've landed here, let's lift the heart Look up towards the sky. Find a smile on your face. Practicing a smile starts with a physical smile, even if you don't feel like it. Yeah, and then it radiates through your whole body. And then exhale, relax the arms down. And the more we practice that smile, yeah, the more it becomes natural. Even if we're not physically smiling, our body starts to get the sense of what it feels like when it does, yeah. All right, so here we're going to then hop up onto that back, the ball of the foot. Good, coming into a little lunge. On an inhale breath, again, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, you're gonna turn over to the left now and drop your arms halfway. Find your warrior two on this side. And again, feel free to move the legs around, move the feet around. Settle into your warrior two legs. Little bend in this knee, this front knee. 
not going beyond the toe. Ideally, knee right above the heel. Good. And then you're going to turn the palms up. And on an inhale breath, straighten that front knee and reach out and up. And exhale, palms down, float, sink back into your warrior two. So just do a couple at your own pace, inhaling as you straighten and reach up, stretch up tall. Exhale, soften. Good, and one more inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, soften. And the next time you land into your warrior two, pause. Take a breath in. As you exhale, let the arms float all the way down. Relax the shoulders. Press down into that front foot to straighten the knee. And then rotate your right foot forward or your front foot forward and heel toe your way back to standing and back forward. Nice, good, shake it out. All right, we're gonna come into a little um, back bend and then uh, um, a downward dog and then we'll sit. All right, so coming into camel pose, so find your mountain pose, right? Engage your kneecaps, tuck your tailbone down, tuck your belly in, reach the shoulders up, back and down. Yeah, and taking your hands, now your palms, and laying them on your back, on your sacrum. If this is uncomfortable on your shoulders or it's hard, your arms are you know, a little tight, you can clasp your hands behind your back. Yeah. So coming into a little standing camel pose here. So hands on the back here, just like that. Might feel nice to just massage your back a little bit, your sacrum. Yeah, or you can have your hands clasped. Yeah, good. All right, so holding onto your back. You've got your back, yeah. Good, on an inhale breath, stretch the shoulders back. Soften the knees, a little tiny bend in your knees. Lift your heart and look up towards the sky. And breathe. Nice big breath here. I'm just feeling the whole opening up of your front body, front of your spine, heart, stretch for the shoulders. Good. One more breath here. As you exhale, relax the pose. Let the head float down. Good. Gently straighten the knees and just slide your hands down. And then if or they were clasped, just unclasp the hands and roll out the shoulders. Good. All right, might feel nice to do a little bit more of a net stretch here. So relax the arms. We're gonna draw your arms back. You're gonna grab onto your right wrist with your left hand. And just gently hold on to that right wrist, relax your shoulders, and then drop your head over to the right. So opposite way. Okay. So you're holding on to your right wrist with your left hand. Yeah, and dropping your head to the right. Yeah. So I'm not mirroring you at this point. And breathe your opposite knee. Big breath here. And then gently draw your right wrist towards the, the hand towards the floor as you lift your head and switch. Grab the other wrist, take a breath in. As you exhale, drop your head now over to the, your right as you're drawing your left wrist towards the floor. So the head's going the opposite way of the wrist you're holding. And Slowly come back up, good. Release both hands now, shake them out. Shake out your legs, shake your body. Yeah, good. Okay, let's come to, uh, before we sit down, if we don't have the back of your chair there or a table, let's just do a little downward facing dog. Obviously we've been doing a lot of opening and this is a little um, counter pose for that. So bringing your hands onto your chair, Good, or if there's a table, you wanna ground your palms on something, but we're not pressing hard down into the chair. They're just 
laying there nice and gently. And we're going to walk back. So making sure you have space behind you. And keep walking back. The arms extend and walk your feet all the way back to as far as you can go. Slide your hips back. Let's bend our knees. It's just a nice whole back body stretch. Allow your head to rest between your arms if that's the case. So just, this is just nice and gentle through the whole back body. So breathe, nice long, slow, deep breath. And if you want to straighten one knee and then bend it, and then straighten the other knee and bend, it's like a little bicycle that might stretch those hamstrings and calves, only if it feels good. Belly is tucking up. That's protecting that low back. Good. And now meet with both knees bent. Take a breath in. Exhale, stretch a little bit more. Your hips back and your fingers forward. Good. Now on an inhale breath, just gently lift the head. And ever so slowly start to walk back up towards the back of your chair. Body starts to come up. Keep the head down if you can through walking forward. Once you reach the back of your chair, lift the head, relax the arms. Good. Roll the shoulders out. Now on a big inhale breath, reach the arms so gently. Stretch them out. Make the biggest circle you can. And up and look up and lift the heart in a pose of gratitude. And exhale, float your arms down. Okay, so the more we awaken and again, focus into our heart, even with meditations, if you sit with your eyes closed and just keep focusing on how your heart feels, it gets you out of your head. Yeah. Because when this is agitated, the physical part of the body starts feeling agitated, right? So relaxing, doing whatever we can to relax the brain will help the body feel better. Yeah. All right. Let's make our way to the front. So coming to the front of your chair and just gently making your way down to a nice comfortable seat. Yeah. Good. And roll it up. All right. We're going to do a little bit deeper twist before we go into Shavasana here. So you can scoot a little forward in your chair here. Good. Make sure that you have some space behind you again to plant your hands there. Good. And then maybe grab behind your right leg and hug it in. Once here, always we do a couple circles here. And now if it's comfortable for you to just guide this right leg over the left, making sure that you're comfortable and you can sit up tall here, or we're gonna cross at our ankles. Good. All right. So cross legs, cross ankles, either one. Now on an inhale breath, we're going to reach the arms forward and up again. Again, lift the heart. Look up. As you exhale, relax. Bring the gaze back forward. Tuck your belly back and rotate the body over to the right again. And relax. Take the arms down. Now if your leg is crossed, if your legs are crossed, you can bring that left forearm onto the outside of the right thigh. And if you're crossed at your ankles, it's the hand. And then again, planting that right palm on the back of the seat of your chair. On an inhale breath, press into your right palm to elongate your spine. And as you exhale, relax slightly and turn and again, look over that right shoulder. Feeling that twist and that turn at your waist. This is opening up that heart. We're breathing into the belly and the heart. Smile on the face. Two more breaths. Each time you exhale, can you just go a tick more in the twist? Maybe not, don't over twist. As you exhale, relax the body. Slowly come back forward. Good. 
and uncross. Okay. And just gently slide the spine back and forth. And then grabbing the opposite leg. Inhale, hug it in, do a couple circles. Again, you can always keep that toe on the floor. You know the drill. Good. And then now taking that leg and either crossing it over comfortably, making sure that you can have a tall spine and you're not leaning forward to cross your legs, or this leg is not collapsing, your right leg. Yeah. Or you select to cross at your ankles. You take care of yourself, do what needs you need for your body. Good. All right. And then on an inhale breath, reach the arms forward and up. Stretch up tall, last stretch, look up between your arms. Feel that heart lifting up towards the sky. As you exhale, relax the body, good. And then just gently make your way over to the left. At some point, when you reach your edge, relax the arms down. And now that right forearm is on the outside of the left thigh, pressing into it. And then the left hand is placed on the back of the seat of your chair. Inhale, press into that left palm, stretch the spine tall. As you exhale, relax and twist and look over the left shoulder and breathe. So you're gently pressing in to that, that left thigh with that right forearm or hand. It's also opening up a little bit that sciatic and breathe. And as you exhale, relax the whole body. Slowly bring your body back forward. And uncross your legs. Good. And just move around. Maybe shake off any tension nice and easily. Any tension that you might have continued to hold or built up. Good. And we'll make our way to Shavasana. So feel free to scoot all the way back in your chair. Really make sure that your back is supported. And if you have a sore back, maybe you put a little pillow there or something so that your back can relax. So yeah, if you're laying down, floor is supporting you. Palms are up away from your body. Legs are a little wider apart. We're gonna come into this, it's called a Hidar, Hidraya Mudra. It's for the heart. They call this the heart attack preventer mudra. Yeah. So simply, if you want to keep your eyes open here, or if you're, or if you're laying down, you can just follow my direction. But you're going to, palms are up. You're going to curl your pointer finger in towards your thumb pad. And then you're going to take your two middle fingers and the thumb tip and just touch them together. And your pinky finger is going to be forward as much as possible. Yes. Yeah, the tendency is for it to curl up, but try to keep it extended as much as you can, right? So point your finger is just touching that fleshy part of the base of your thumb and the other, the thumb and the ring and a middle finger are just gently touching and the pinky finger is forward. And close your eyes and relax the body. We're going to take three of those belly to collarbone breaths while in this mudra, imagining this great energy going to your heart, healing your heart. So take a breath in as you feel your belly gently rise and your heart rise and your collarbone rise. And as you exhale, relax the breath. So just at your own pace, just keep slowly breathing to the belly and the heart and the collarbone, expanding the breath. Yeah. Good. And on your next exhale breath, just release the mudra now and relax the body. So make any final little adjustments that you need to make. And then come to stillness. And <clears throat> as much as possible, keep the body still. Palms are open and up on your lap. And 
inviting all the beautiful energy of this universe that's around us inside. Bring a little smile to your face. Relax the back of your neck, your shoulders. You know, softness to your heart. Soften the belly. Feel the arms heavy. Feel the fingers relax. Feel the legs relax. Feel the hips heavy, melting into the floor in the chair. Feel the toes soften. Take a gentle breath in and let go. Go of all your efforts. Feel the heart relaxing with each exhale breath. A little focus on the heart helps to calm the mind. Relax. Just for one more minute. Each exhale breath. Let go a little more. A little more. awareness to how you feel. This is your true nature. This is who you are. And allow yourself to remain here for as long as you'd like. And if you choose now to come back slowly into the space and time, take a deep breath in and let it go.
Take another deep breath in and breathe out. And slowly begin to wake yourself up. Begin to wiggle and move. Wiggle your toes and fingers. Sway the body. You're laying down, bending the knees, coming onto one side. And we're all gonna come back to stillness now. Bringing our hands into Anjali Mudra just as we started today. Elbows float out. Take a nice big deep breath in from your belly to your heart to your collarbones. And as you exhale, let the breath out. Relax the forehead to the fingertips. In closing practice today with this. Loka, Samasta, Sukhinyo, Avantu. May all beings be happy. May all beings be free. And may my thoughts, my words, and my actions contribute to that. And when you're feeling ready, complete at your own pace, gently flutter your eyes open as you lift your head. And I thank you all for coming and opening up your hearts together with us on this lovely day. Have a lovely rest of your day. Namaste. And thank you, everyone.